Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for December 4th, 2022. While the world's eyes were on Boston, Massachusetts on Friday to see the Prince and Princess of Wales attend the 2022 Earthshot Prize, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain visited his old alma mater, Georgetown University, in Washington, D.C. The purpose of His Majesty's visit was to attend the centennial celebrations of Georgetown's Masters of Science in Foreign Service, the MSFS program. His Majesty the King, who received his Master's in International Relations from Georgetown University 27 years ago, is an honorary member of the MSFS Board of Advisors. During Friday's gala dinner celebrations, with attendance by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece, who also graduated from Georgetown and was roommates with His Majesty the King, His Majesty gave the keynote speech, referring to his time at Georgetown as, quote, the most memorable years, end quote, while pursuing his degree. Prior to the gala dinner, His Majesty the King, accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister of Spain, Ms. Nadia Calvino, visited the headquarters of the International Monetary Fund. During his visit, His Majesty the King and the Deputy Prime Minister attended a luncheon meeting with the Managing Director of the IMF, Ms. Kristalina Georgieva. His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan was in Cairo, Egypt on Saturday, where he held a meeting with the President of Egypt, Mr. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, at al Irahadia Palace. During their meeting, His Majesty the King and the President expressed pride in the distinguished ties between Jordan and Egypt and their peoples, as well as their keenness to bolster relations across various fields. The two leaders reaffirmed the need to continue expanding bilateral and trilateral cooperation with Iraq, as well as to continue making progress on engagements in several of mutual interests and Arab causes. In the afternoon, His Majesty the King arrived in Algiers to begin his state visit to Algeria at the invitation of the President of Algeria, Mr. Abdel Majid Temoun. After a hectic day of meetings with various senior Algerian officials, His Majesty the King and a Jordanian delegation attended a Gala State Banquet hosted by the President of Algeria at the People's Palace in, well, Algiers. Prior to the gala banquet, gifts, decorations, and orders were exchanged. His Majesty the King bestowed the Order of the Bejeweled Grand Cordon of al Nahada, the Order of the Renaissance, on President Taboon, in recognition of his efforts to bolster the deep-rooted ties between the two countries and its peoples, as well as marking His Majesty's state visit to Algeria. The Bejeweled Order is granted to kings, princes, and heads of state. Meanwhile, the President presented the National Order of Merit, one of the highest medals in Algeria, to His Majesty the King in recognition of the deep-rooted ties between Jordan and Algeria. In Uppsala, Their Majesties King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden attended a special service this morning at the Uppsala Cathedral to witness Dr. Martin Modeus become the new Archbishop of the Church of Sweden. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark was in Camden, North London this morning to attend a special service on the occasion of her Golden Jubilee at the Danish Church, St. Catharines. Her Majesty the Queen, accompanied by Her Lady-in-Waiting, was seen wearing the most noble Order of the Garter, the oldest and most senior Order of Chivalry in Britain, founded in 1358 by King Edward III. Every year, Her Majesty the Queen spends several days in London to do a bit of Christmas shopping for her family and friends. In Fredericksburg, Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, as patron, and His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, attended the Royal Danish Academy of Music's Children's Choir Christmas Concert Saturday, held inside the Concert Hall at the Royal Conservatory of Music. His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco, accompanied by the Palais Princier Chaplain, Father Penzo, along with several Monegasque government officials, attended a traditional Mass presided over by Archbishop Dominique Marie David in celebration of Saint Barbara, the patron saint of firefighters at the Saint Nicholas Church in Fontvieille. Well, there was some exciting news from the world of cycling that was announced yesterday morning. 
In a press conference held at the Yacht Club de Monaco in Port Hercule, the director of the Tour de France, Mr. Christian Prudhomme, alongside His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco, announced that the final stage of the 2024 Tour de France, an individual time trial, will depart from the Principality of Monaco and will end in Nice, France. This is the first time the Tour de France will finish outside of Paris. The reason for the change of location for the final leg of the race? Well, the 2024 Paris Olympics. It's an immense challenge for the city of Paris to host two major sporting events at the same time. During Saturday's press conference, Tour de France officials said, quote, Fans of the French Riviera are in for a real treat in the finale of the 2024 Tour de France. Just like Nice, Monaco has long-standing ties with the Tour de France, starting in 1939 and continuing in the 1950s and 60s, when the Stade Louis II hosted the riders for a joust on its cinder track, which has now disappeared, end quote. In the afternoon, the Sovereign Prince, accompanied by his niece, Miss Camille Gottlieb, attended the 36th edition of the French Muscular Dystrophy Association, AFM, telethon, held at the Grimaldi Forum. On Friday, the Sovereign Prince attended the 2022 German Sustainability Awards, GSA, in Dusseldorf, Germany. The annual GSA ceremony is an event that recognizes individuals and organizations for their long-standing commitment to ecology and sustainable development. During the Gala Award ceremony, the director of the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research presented the Sovereign Prince with the 2022 German Sustainable Development Prize in the presence of the Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany, Mr. Olaf Scholz. Prince Albert II received the award for his outstanding contribution to the protection of the environment, as well as the actions taken by the Principality of Monaco in favor of the ecological transition. Preparations have begun for His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom's coronation on May 6, 2023, with Buckingham Palace announcing on Saturday that St. Edward's Crown, the historic centerpiece of the Crown Jewels, has been removed from the Tower of London to allow for modification work to begin ahead of the coronation. Per Buckingham Palace, quote, As per tradition, the King will be crowned with a St. Edward's Crown during the coronation service at Westminster Abbey. The king will also wear the imperial state crown during the service. St. Edward's crown is the crown historically used at the moment of coronation and worn by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at her coronation in 1953. It was made for Charles II in 1661 as a replacement for the medieval crown which had been melted down in 1649. The original was thought to date back to the 11th century royal saint Edward the Confessor, the last Anglo-Saxon king of England. The crown was commissioned from the royal goldsmith Robert Viner in 1661. Although it's not an exact replica of the medieval design, it follows the original in having four cross petits and four fleurs-de-lis and two arches. It is made up of solid gold frame set with rubies, amethysts, sapphires, garnet, topazes, and tourmalines. The crown has a velvet cap with an ermine band." End quote. Meanwhile, on Friday, Her Highness Hereditary Princess Cleo of Otien Spielberg attended the Nespresso Boutique Pop-Up Café VIP opening in Munich, Germany. This afternoon in Bangkok, Their Majesties King Rama X and Queen Sothada of Thailand attended the premiere of the film entitled White Monkey, held at the Siam Pavalai Grand Theatre. And finally, on this day in royal history, in 1999, His Royal Highness Prince Philippe of Belgium, Duke of Brabant, married Miss Mathilde Dudekem Daco at the beautiful Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gadula in Brussels. Royals throughout Europe and abroad attended the wedding, including a then His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Albert II of Monaco, their Imperial Highnesses Crown Prince Norohito and Crown Princess Masako of Japan, his Royal Highness Crown Prince Håkon of Norway, Her Majesty Queen Sofia of Spain, His Royal Highness Prince Felipe of Asturias, and Their Majesties King Constantine II and Queen Anne Marie of Greece, to name a few. On October 25, 2001, the royal couple welcomed their first child, Princess Elizabeth. Two years later, on August 20, 2003, the royal couple welcomed their second child, Prince Gabriel. 
On October 4, 2005, Prince Emmanuel was born. On October 16, 2008, Princess Eleanor was born. On July 21, 2013, Prince Philippe of Belgium, Duke of Brabant, was proclaimed King of the Belgians after his father, King Albert II, abdicated the throne. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Monday, December 5th with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Sunday evening and a great week ahead. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.